Hello everyone, welcome back to Automotive History Through Diecast. Uh, today we have some non-Hot Wheels Premiums. Uh, I've been leaning more and more towards these. I still love Hot Wheels and I still love their premium cars, but uh, the detail on these are just amazing. Uh, this first one is a Bugatti um, in a nice white. Then we have this Tarmac um, Pagani. Uh, this is the new body Imola. Um, so we'll open it up and look at that. The the one I saw on whatnot, the red was just really nice. Then we have this uh, LB ER34 Silhouette Nissan Skyline. Comes with two sets of tires, um, so you can either have the black or the white ones. Um, I wanted to grab this to see how it compares to the Hot Wheels version. Uh, Pop Racing is becoming one of my more favorite um, non-Hot Wheels companies to buy from. This is a 997 RWB, and speaking of Porsches, uh, me and the wife took the kids to Wisconsin Dells for spring break, and while they were swimming and everything, I jumped on YouTube and started um, watching some stuff on Porsche. Uh, so I will be doing a history of Porsche. It is quite interesting. Um, another pop racing, this is the R34 wagon. And then we have a Mini GT. The LB uh, Sylvia, I love Sylvia's, the S15. This purple paint uh, is just amazing on it. And then we have this Porsche RWB backdate. Um, I didn't know what backdate meant. I mean, I guess if you take back and date, you can kind of figure it out. But backdate means to take a brand new Porsche or a newer Porsche and make it look retro like a so basically they're taking this new portion trying to make it look kind of like a 70s porsche then we got this rocket bunny ae86 i'm not a huge fan of the ae86 but it does look cool in the rocket bunny um body kit but what i really got this for is this is a collab with uh donut donut media which if you're into cars and you like to watch car history, but not like boring uh, history channel history, these guys are pretty funny and um, have a lot of knowledge. And then we got this guy. This is a really sharp one. This is a, a Skyline in all carbon fiber. Um, very, very nice um, model. And then the last one, I have the silver one like this. Uh, so I got the Porsche one. This is the My Collection RWB um, Porsche in this nice chrome blue. All right, let me pause you guys. We'll open all these up and we'll take a look at them on the turntable. All right, we are back. So here is the Liberty Walk that came with the extra tires. Um, it does roll. I'm going to say if they roll or not. It doesn't matter to me. I don't put these. These are meant for displaying for me. But I know there are people out there who do run them on the track and, you know, maybe would want to know if it is, if it rolls or not. So, yes, I would consider this a roller as much as a Hot Wheel would be. Um, now, as far as I wanted to point out, it does come with this second set of wheels, which I thought was super cool. Um, it comes, they just pop out, and then you pop in, you know, the color you want, which I thought was super neat. Um, a cool way of doing it. But to compare the two, the... The one, this is a Hot Wheel. So, the other one has a plastic base so you can interchange the wheels. So the Hot Wheel feels more substantial. 
and I also think it has nicer wheels. But there definitely is a little more detail on the other one. Um, like the in the back, the sponsors, a um, couple more sponsor logos on the Hot Wheel. The roll cage kind of looks too big, I guess would be the best way. You can tell it's like a two-piece wing where on Hot Wheels, it, you know, you can tell it's, a, you know, one piece. So, but for the price difference, I would get the Hot Wheel if I had to be honest. Um, but they're both cool. And um, I think the other one is probably a little more true to the real car. All right, moving along. Put that over there. Next is this uh, EA 86. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of these cars, but I do like donut media. And that's why I grabbed this one. There were like three options. Uh, one more like uh, gray and black, like um, Initial D. And I don't remember what the last one was. But this one had the yellow wheels. And then on the back it says Donut Media. So I really like this one. Um, yeah, that would be considered a roller. Here is that beautiful purple. Uh, I can't get over. Um, <clears throat> you can't polish a car enough to do this. You have to have it chromed, hydro dipped. But, uh, and again, I still think it's crazy that this is a drift car um, with how much work is put into it. I thought, for the longest time, I thought this was a race car. But, uh, yeah, just beautiful. I think the uh, the purple and yellow look great with the green accents. Um, love everything about this car. All right, next, um, I never really thought I'd buy a Skyline wagon. But when I saw this, I thought it was perfect. Uh, I think because it's chrome. I think they did an excellent job on this. Um, I mean, I love like Audi wagons. So, I mean, I'm not against wagons. But I guess when I think of Skylines, I, I never really thought of a wagon version. Here is that carbon fiber. Uh, Skyline. The packaging on this thing was amazing. The base that this was screwed to was so thick, uh, you would think it was bulletproof. It just, uh, and it was numbered out of out of a thousand. I'm not a numbers guy. I mean, I know if you want to get rid of something, then numbers matter. But if you plan on keeping it in your collection, then I don't think numbers matter as much. But I think this is, you know, perfect. It doesn't have a huge body kit on it or anything. Um, just the right amount of detail. I think they did an excellent job on this. And then this is not called a Zonda. It's called something different. But to me, it looks like a Zonda. I don't know if it's like a, a hypo, like a special edition version of a Zonda. But... Uh, or like a different powertrain. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But uh, I love Pugatis. And this red is just awesome. And I like how they did the uh, the mirrors. Instead of just putting, you know, because they on a lot of these cars, they make them little rubber mirrors. And they're flimsy. They actually, like, made the base two into the car. So it's not so flimsy. But yeah, the detail on this thing is just amazing. All right, all we got left is the Porsches. Um, like I said, Pop Racing is becoming one of my more favorite um, non-Hot Wheel uh, companies. So they advertise this as an RWB, and then they sneak in Porsche stickers, decals, in the packaging. So you can put the water slides on to complete this as a Porsche. Um, but obviously they don't have the license for it. So that's their way around. But uh, yeah, look at that back rim. Look how deep that back rim is. 
That is just awesome. And then, so that's a roller. This next one, I would say it's like a roller with a flat tire. Um, the tires move, but it's dragging on the ground, so it wouldn't go down any track. But uh, it is beautiful. RWB backdate, like I said, backdate it means they take a newer car and try to make it, you know, look like a 70s car. Um, not necessary 70s, but that's kind of when, like, Porsche, like, air-cooled was real popular. So they're trying to take a more modern version and make it look like an older car. So kind of like what Hot Rodders do when they take an older-looking car and put a modern drivetrain under it. Kind of the same concept. And then here is that chrome blue Porsche RWB. Like I said, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is a larger casting than I believe they call it 164th, but it is not. It's huge. Um, these do not roll. I would not consider these rollers. Um, just to give you an idea of the size, here is that back date I just showed you. Um, you can see that that's, this other one is a lot bigger of a car. And... I also grabbed the chrome one I had just to give you a reference, you know, um, both are very nice. Uh, I thought that chrome one was, you know, like super cool until I saw this blue chrome one. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, hope you like these type of videos. Oh, whoa, 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 slow down, Joe. We got one more. We got the Bugatti. I purposely saved this for last. This is not a, a roller. But the attention to detail on this is amazing. Um, this looks like if you got it in the right setting, the right light, that it was the real car. Um, absolutely beautiful. And in this pearl white, you can't beat it. All right, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.